hi guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys enjoyed the look now as usual I'm going to start doing my eyebrows using my eyes lip and face eyebrow pet kit and my Mac pencil in Skype once I'm done with that I'm going to use my Too Faced shadow insurance I'm going to place that over my eyelid and just blend it in with my fingers once I finish blending that in I am going to place the tape on the outer corner of my eyes and I'm going to use a Maybelline line stiletto liquid eyeliner right there just to give the shape that I'm looking for now I was inspired to do this look by um, Shirley Ebian she had a look inspired look from Eva Mendez on a couple, couple months back and I just really love this look but she never did the tutorial for it now I'm just going to use a small precision brush with my deep potted NYX jumbo pencil in black bean and I'm just going to basically use that to fill in the space and that's my deep potted black bean jumbo pencil from NYX And I'm just going to try to fill in the space from the eyeliner that I basically shaped. And that's going to be used basically as the base. Because now I'm going to take a small angle brush from Eyes, Lip and Face again. And I'm going to use a matte eyeshadow called Charcoal. It's basically a matte eyeshadow pigment as you can see right there and I'm just going to place that on top of the black area Now I'm going to use my MAC Middle Eye Skin Finish in Medium Deep and I'm just going to put that on the rest of my eyelid just to give it a more of a neutral matte look. I also have a video coming up for the hairstyle that I was going for for this look it looks kind of weird right now with just the two rollers and pin back but I'll put the link somewhere on this video for the tutorial for that hairstyle now using my L'Oreal eyeliner pencil in black I'm just going to place that on my waterline after I remove the tape I really love this cat eye dark eye look it's so not me but at the same time I'm just so in love with the just dark smoky cat like look now using my NV INV volume and define mascara from kiss New York I'm just going to place that on my eyelashes Okay guys, now I'm going to use my NC50 Studio Sculpt Concealer and I'm just going to conceal under my eyes. This is more of a neutral matte concealer. It's exactly my skin tone. Now I'm going to use my Smatchbox Cream to Powder Foundation in Dark D1. something about this um, foundation just doesn't like my skin and I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk blending sponge to apply it I'm 
don't know for some reason this cons this foundation once it dries it leaves like this white residue I just don't like that now I'm just going to set my concealer I'm sorry I'm just going to set my foundation using my MAC middle eye skin finish in dark and I'm just going to use a powder brush from eyes up and face and this brush is from their mineral line Now I'm going to set my concealer using my Eyes Up and Face Mineral conceal Concealer in Warm and I'm going to set that using a blush brush. Now just for a little contouring, I'm going to use my Deep Dark Middle Eye Skin Finish and using a Large Angle Contour Brush from Sigma. And this is, I use usually this, the Deep Dark, only when I want a very light con contouring. Because the Deep Dark is a little reddish on my skin, so it helps. Now using my Blush in Plum. Um, eyes up and face their mineral. I'm just going to apply that right on my cheek. I love their blushes, mineral brushes. And I'm going to set that with a blush brush also. See, very light. Love it. And now I'm just going to blend the two with the um, contouring. Now on to my lips. This is a NYX Jumbo, no, this is a NYX Pencil in Plum. And now I'm going to use a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Neck Chase, Neck Chase. It's just like a nice burgundy, deep red burgundy look. And I'm just going to set that with a lip gloss from NYX that is called Plum Red. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching.